Good morning and welcome to today's verse. To God be the glory. What a great day it is today. It is Friday, last work day of the week. Thank God it's Friday. Today's verse, it comes to us from the Gospel of John, John chapter 6, verse 68. And we heard these words, but Simon Peter answered him and said, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Now, Jesus had just taught a very important truth, but it was hard to hear or to process mentally by the illustration that the Lord had used, saying, I am the bread of life that has come down from heaven. And unless a man eat of my flesh and drink of my blood, he has no life in him. Now, there were some folk that had pursued the Lord on the other side where he was before. He had just fed uh, the 5,000 took up five basket loads of bread fragments left over. And seeing that, they thought, well, this must be the prophet that Moses talked about. Like Moses fed our forefathers in the wilderness. This man just fed us. And so they wanted to make the Lord king, take him by force and make him the king. But the Lord, knowing that, knowing that was not his way, he went to the other side and departed. And they pursued him. And when they found him, they asked him, well, Lord, when did you come here? And he says to them, you don't seek me because of the sign, but rather because you ate and you were full. And so they said, well, what work shall we do that we might do the work of God? And Jesus says to them that this is the work of, of God, that you are to believe on him in whom he has sent. And they get him back to the bread again. And so they asked the Lord, well, what signs shall you show that we might believe you? Our fathers ate. Moses gave our fathers bread from heaven and ate. And then Jesus declares to him that Moses didn't give him your fathers this bread, but rather my father, God from heaven, God gave you that bread. And so I am the bread of life. And now that he tells them that, that they must eat of his flesh and drink of his blood. Many of them turned back, walked with him no more. They forsook the Lord and departed from him. For them, the cost of follow Jesus was just too high. Eventually, it would mean to bury one's own cross and deny oneself to follow him. Even his own disciples said, what Jesus said was a hard saying. Can, how can anyone listen to it? And later the Lord would clarify that his words that he had spoken, that they were spirit and that they were life. After the bread seekers had departed, Jesus turned to the 12 and he asked them, do you want to go away as well? And now we get back to our verse. Peter, being a spokesman for the 12, now you got to love Peter. He says, Lord, he begins with Lord, using the title to its fullest extent, declaring that he knew that Jesus was the sovereign Lord of the universe, the one to whom all men owe their allegiance. Peter declared that Jesus' words were words of eternal life. He declared that what Jesus had just proclaimed was true. I mean, where else are you going to go to find truth in this world if you do not find it from the one who is the truth? The apostles believed and knew that Jesus was the Christ, that he was the Son of God, that he was the Holy One of God. To whom else are you going to go to find truth? To God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you would meditate upon this verse. It would be a word of encouragement to you as you go throughout your day. I pray that you have a great day, a safe day. And then tune in again tomorrow, yes, <laughs> as we consider today's verse. Amen.